A firm, long handshake and all smiles uh, as uh, Emmanuel Macron welcomes Mohammed bin Salman here at the Elysee Palace. A very different picture from that cold shoulder uh, that France and the West in general had been giving Saudi Arabia over the last few years. Uh, 2018, of course, marked by the killing of Jamal Khashoggi and since that, uh, well, countries and leaders uh, such as Joe Biden had say, stated very clearly uh, that they wanted to make a pariah of the kingdom. That's a very different story though today uh, as uh, the West measures and feels the consequences of its backing of Ukraine in their war against Russia. Oil prices have soared and the global uh, food prices have increased uh, leading to that crisis just in general uh, around the world and what they're trying to do right now is trying to get the Gulf states uh, to increase oil production and bring the prices down. So they've been rallying uh, around the leaders from the Gulf, but so far uh, it's been very difficult. Uh, Riyadh have said on their side that they want to stick to their agreement that they have uh, with Moscow, that program uh, whereby they share uh, the delivery of oil worldwide and they don't want to step out of that. Uh, and of course, as Emmanuel Macron welcomes the Crown Prince uh, to Paris, well, there's been this, the issue of human rights uh, and where France stands with regards uh, to their position uh, of the killing of Jamal Khashoggi. Uh, the Elise said that very clearly that they will be talking about it. Uh, and uh, meanwhile, uh, uh, Joe Biden, who was in uh, Riyadh recently, said uh, also on his side that the US hadn't changed. But very clearly, Saudi Arabia is back in the game uh, when it comes to trade, because uh, having uh, dismissed uh, Moscow uh, in the war, well, the West is having to find solutions elsewhere. Uh, and today, that strong position that they did have against Riyadh uh, clearly is shifting as the Crown Prince comes here in a position of power.